anti afro Spengalis, I wanted to come on here because I had to provide a couple of points of clarity. Do you recall a couple of weeks ago when I played Propane's live stream from Christmas Eve, when Tiff P was talking about Dumpsy and him supposedly having these bad bees? Well, I'm going to do a follow up on that. But the reason why I'm posting this video, I had to make sure some things were clear. First and foremost, let's get this out of the way because this is the whole backdrop of this video. Dumpsy D. Durrell, the Medicare defrauder, Dempsey Spears is a liar. Straight away, I want to make sure it's clear to everyone. At no time did I ever consider having any conversation or reconciling. I mean, there's nothing to reconcile or a truce. Having any discussion with Dumpsey. Never was it ever a consideration. I mean, this fool got to the point where either he had somebody do it or someone did it in concert with him. He was making up fake avatars. Like I was having a conversation. I have never spoken to him. I never considered speaking to him. And I think you should leave conscious energy alone. Quit lying on conscious energy. Quit trying to drag him into situations that have nothing to do with him because you're feeling powerless and defeated. You feel powerless and you feel defeated. So you got to try to bring other people into it. You've been running around to all these different sectors and you've been kicked to the curb because they know you're nothing but a fraud. But let me tie it into Tiff P's comments. What she said about Dumpsey and supposedly these bad bees. Well, one thing you can say about conscious energy, I'll throw this in, at least he's actively producing children in the here and now. All Dumpsey is doing is perping about getting bad bees. In case you all forgot what Tiff P said during Propane Oakland's Christmas Eve Live. Stay tuned and I will return. If I gave my pussy, of course he'd take it. I, I, I do my best to try to fuck dog shit out of him, but there's no need. You know what? there are younger, better, <laughs> prettier bitches doing that. He had plenty of pussy. All Dumpsy can do is run around with photos trying to convince Tiff P, he has bad bees. What dude is going to do that? What man, actual man, is going to run around and say to another woman who's a potential sexual interest and talk about his bad bees? Well, you're going to hear about one such subject. And you can best believe he and Dumpsey have a lot in common. Be sure to read the screen if you have any trouble following what the two people are saying, but you had better believe this is a scenario that plays out when Dempsey gets access to bad bees. Stay tuned and I will return. Shorty got me all the way up. So let me, let me explain to y'all. Let me, let me explain to y'all the story. I flew this way from Mount Indiana. You know what I'm saying? Been talking to her on Instagram for months. You feel me? I just spent damn near five G's on this. She talking about she don't want nobody to touch her. Man, you got me up. You mean when you can leave? First of all, hold on, hold on, hold on. I man. First she talking about she don't even fly spirit, right? Then talking about she don't fly spirit, like like she get, like okay. So I get her mom. And so I get her mom Delta. That's damn near six seven hundred last minute, right? Okay. So plus her bags, check in, all that shit. We go get her the Uber, all that shit. Then I'm damn near. At two G's already, so we get here. First night, I'm being, a, I'm being a whole gentleman. I've been a whole gentleman. Have you not? Have I not been a gentleman to you though? Have I not did anything? But you should have knew what it was if I flew you out here though. I don't have. I don't want. Why come out here then? What do you mean? So y'all, this is the Instagram model. You know what? I ain't gonna even be no petty ass. Put your name on there like that. Okay, so why the would you come halfway across the country knowing you didn't want to? You though. I ain't say you did. You know what it was though. You knew what it was. You want to spend money. That's I spent five G's on you. What are you, what you talking about? That's what you Five G's. You what are you talking about? So look, she didn't did. Hold oh, on, let me talk. Shut up. Shut up. Then we, so we about to go eat, right? So Shorty tomorrow, she hungry. So Shorty, call him, call him. Call him. Pack all this shit. I'll help you. I'll help you leave. Pack all this bum shit up. Pack all this shit. Pack all that shit up. It's not even about the, it's not even about the, it's really about the money because it ain't about none, you feel me? Ain't about none. So listen, 
We get off the <laughs> fight. Let me tell the story. We get off the fucking fight. Okay. So I'm like, uh, you know, was, uh, we went back to the room. Well, she like, I'm hungry. I'm like, all right, well, let's go to a little restaurant or something. You know, I'm trying to get her something to eat. She like, oh, no, nah, I only eat the best. I want some crab legs. That's another. So we go to the restaurant. I spent no, damn near ordering steak, motherfucking crab legs. The best, most, I'm buying all that shit, though, being a pure gentleman. You know what I'm saying? Being a pure, being a real So I spent damn near five G's on this shit already. Who you want to you can leave. Yeah, so much you can go. Yes, yes, I'll help you. Pack this shit up. You can get the all out. Get all your shit. Pack all it. It's already packed. Yes. Tell him how much money I spent, though. Tell him how much money I spent. Uh, I can get some. It ain't, it ain't enough for me to call. I got another coming through. I got another coming through. I got another coming through. So you can leave. You can get the out. Get your shit. Get your shit. Okay. Get your shit. It is. Been here two days. Two days talking about all my money touching me. Ain't on no her period. None of that. None of that. Put your shoes on. I ain't on her period. Nothing. What you do? You gonna whip me? She gonna beat me up? Please, come on now. Get your goofy ass out of here. You got me all the way up. All right. Like you better chill. Like you know, don't really get on your ass for that. Can you get the out? Can you get the out? Out. Can you get the? I can get my way any day, baby. This that money, nothing, baby. I hope that five G's is worth it. Okay. Wait, man. You look y'all put your Instagram on here, y'all. We keep talking. I'm gonna tell everybody what your Instagram is. Yes, please leave. Get the out. Bye, 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 bye. Why are you recording me? Bye, bye. Get back home. Catch y'all ass over. Where are you going? You don't even know where the you went. Don't worry about where I'm going. Don't worry about where I'm going. Okay. Bye. Don't bum my ass out of here. Now I recognized. There very well could be divergent views, split down gender lines about what you just saw. I'm going to acknowledge that. But what I want to point out is how this person, this dude described himself. He described himself as a gentleman. I was being a gentleman. At least he said past tense. He didn't say I am a gentleman. So give him that credit. He was perping. Just like Dumpsy does. He's up here trying to tell you all because he's in dire straits right now. He's in dire straits and he's trying to convince you what a nice guy he is. He has to tell you that. But just like this dude in the video turned right around and is calling this woman a bitch, telling her to shut up more than once, threatening to expose her. And again, I understand people may feel differently about what they saw. But as far as I know, that person in the video is not a therapist. Dumpsy's a therapist. And let me expand upon that. Dumpsy has said among the worst things I have ever heard any man say to a woman or about a woman, hands down. So you wanna complain about a grown man who's defending his family after being quiet for how long? After T.P. had ran her mouth and hasn't produced a single stitch of evidence. Okay, go ahead and complain about what grown man says about T. Pri and her family. Go ahead, do that. It's absolutely a hypocritical stance because grown man is not a therapist. And there T. Pri is sitting in Dumpsy's chat. Same thing with Garfield. I mean, I don't, I don't frankly give a damn. Honestly, I don't, I'm just illustrating a point. Garfield's sitting over there with the wrench and Dempsey was the first person to call her dirty. But when breaking the culture of silence does it, when Stargate does it, based on what Garfield said about her bathing habits, they're being colorist and race attacking. Right. Then hear the complaints about you're attacking a woman. Well, listen, Dempsey can't seem to get it through his head. He continues to try to isolate me by trying to force actual men to choose between the two of us. This is why he's continuing to look like a fool. This is why he has the worst of the worst in females over in that space. And I apologize to the women over there who were like conscious energy, just moving between spaces. You're not really getting into anything. I'm not referring to you. We know exactly who we are referring to the worst of the worst within our gender. And the ones that are screaming the loudest about not getting respect from men. Well, first learn to respect yourself then you might have a chance of others respecting you. Hanging out with Dumpsy isn't gonna get you anywhere because he's already dogged out every single one of you. At least we can say Stargate has her freedom. She got the hell up out of there. 
She is not a regular over there. She does what she wants to do on her own channel and doesn't have the urge to run back to Dumpsey and kiss his ass. She is her own woman. You all are not. You continue to sit over in a space where the most horrendous and vile, disgusting, debasing and discriminatory language was spewed about you from Dumpsey and you're feeling good over there. Well, I would never feel good about anybody attacking me on any front. It makes it all the more insulting that Dempsey up and lied and said that I even considered having a truce or speaking to him or, I mean, it's nauseating. It's insulting to even consider that ever even potentially occurring. Dempsey has a lot of investment in making you all believe things happened that never did. He is an unadulterated liar. That's why he and MPW get along so well. They're both financial frauds and they are both liars. And I'm going to go into that in another video. But what I want to do, I want to make sure something that Dumpsey told you all, something that he said, I want to make sure you know it's a bald faced lie. Dumpsey told you all that the public doesn't have any sway or say in his conduct. He wants you all to believe that unless you have a therapeutic relationship with him, you can't do anything to him if his conduct violates regulations. Dumpsey is a liar because I got Dumpsey written up formally with a warning, which means if you continue this conduct, which he has done, you can be subject to further formal disciplinary proceedings. The only difference is I haven't yet filed a complaint against him. That's why he hasn't been held to answer yet. But I want to make sure the public is very much aware they have sway and say when it comes to someone engaging in conduct that is against a law that has been passed. It has to be a law that is passed. It can't be, I don't like the person. I don't agree with the person. The person's getting on my damn nerves. I wish the person would go away. One in me, AAS. That's not going to get you anywhere. You have to point out a specific law that was passed that the person is violating. And that's what Dumpsey has done many times over. That's why he's been called in and held to answer for many things. And guess what? The females over there who Dumpsey has talked about like they are dogs. He is the one that got in trouble for making the comments about them. Isn't that bizarre? The comments that he made about the females sitting over there are the comments that Dempsey got written up for in his latest disciplinary situation. If Dempsey wants to continue to act like a fool, that is on Dempsey. But what I'm not going to do, I'm not going to let Dempsey tell a single lie on me. I'm going to continue to fight for my rights. You will not sit over there and tell a single lie on me that violates a law. I'm going to take action. You're the bullshit. Say your bullshit. You are just pissed off because you can't force grown men to do what you say. So before I head out of this video, I want to make sure you hear feedback, public say and public sway. It is very much relevant. So make sure you don't touch that dial after you hear buyer beware. Nah, that's all I'm saying. I ain't got no beef with you like I told y'all before. It's a not a nigga on YouTube that I can have a beef with. I just want you to look at the things that you are doing, bro, and see if they're helpful or detrimental to this community here. That's all I want you to do. All that other shit you talking is irrelevant to me. All this back and forth we doing is irrelevant. I just want you to look in the mirror at your professional self. That's all I want you to do. I want to know if professional men get online and make derogatory songs about black women. I just want to know if that's a professional man or does he need professional help? That's all I want to know. I want to know if men go online and put black women pictures up there and allow other men to drag them or does he need professional help? Those are all the questions I'm asking. All that so, other shit you talking, then you run around crying like, oh, somebody did this to me. They doxed my wife. You do the same shit through cash apps. You pay people to do it. You're not a victim here, bro. Stand up and let your balls hang, nigga. Stop tucking your balls and acting like you're a victim when you are a 
a it's perpetrator of the same bullshit that all these other motherfuckers doing. Let me see your transcript. The guy, Daryl Moore, you're no better than none of them, bro. And my motherfucking eyes, all this bullshit you up here talking, man, fuck out of here. Fuck out of here, man. I'm tired of you YouTube characters coming up here, being one thing, and then portraying something totally different. I've been me from day one. That's going to always be. You can miss me with your bullshit.